the ASOS sample sale the deal of a century or is it a bit of a scam and a waste of money? Let's find out in today's video. I've picked a load of items off the ASOS sample sale that only cost a fiver each and in today's video we're going to put the items to the test and see if it was worth the fiver or if, you know, sometimes things are cheap because you know, for a good reason. <laughs> so before we jump on into that, if this is the first time you've ever clicked on my channel, thank you so much for joining. My name's Trina Louise. I make content all about plus size fashion, but also a bit of lifestyle, vlogging, a whole array of fun stuff. So if you want to subscribe and stick around for all the amazing videos that I've got planned for you, then please do. I mentioned in my video two days ago that over 60% of you that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. And off the back of me saying that, so many of you did press the subscribe button. So I'm really grateful because is, that meant that I hit 27,000 subscribers, which just just blows my mind. I cannot believe 27,000 people decided to subscribe to my channel. Like it just blows my mind, and I just thank each and every one of you. I'm pushing on to 30,000 subscribers now, which would just be the most incredible achievement. So if you want to help me to reach towards that goal, I would be super grateful. And if you do subscribe, let me know in the comments so I can say a huge, huge thank you. Speaking of massive thank yous, I have to say a huge thank you to today's sponsor. Anna Luisa. Now you will have heard me talk about Anna Luisa if you've been with my channel for a while. They are a jewellery company that make the most beautiful beautiful pieces. In fact some of my favourite jewellery ever is from Anna Luisa, particularly this necklace. Now I will pop some close-ups on screen so that you can see the jewellery properly but I have been wearing this necklace pretty much every day since I got it two years ago. It's my favorite everyday necklace to wear and you guys have asked me so many times where I got this necklace from, so it is from Ana Luisa and I could not recommend it enough. I do also have the matching earrings, which I do enjoy as well, but this necklace is, it's probably my most worn jewelry piece. In fact, I'd put money on it to say that it is. I absolutely love Ana Luisa's jewelry. It really does stand the test of time and they did let me know that they've now extended their one year warranty to two years to give you that peace of mind but like I said I got this in November 2021 so nearly two years ago and I've worn it nearly every day and it still looks as good as it did when I first got it so I couldn't recommend this necklace enough and Louisa did send me some other pieces to share with you in this video so the pieces that I chose to show you today were two pairs of earrings and a ring so we'll start with the ring I have quite large fingers and I really do struggle to find rings, but Ana Luisa have rings that fit me, which is just so exciting. So I picked this gorgeous silver ring, which is just so pretty and dainty and I absolutely love it. And to go with the ring, I picked these beautiful silver hoop earrings with a little dangly gem. And I think that these are gonna be so gorgeous for when I wanna dress up and get all glam and dolled up. So I'm absolutely obsessed. And I had to get another pair of earrings because I saw these gold hoops with love hearts on and there was no way that I could continue my life without having these in it. I'm so, so, so excited about the pieces that I've chose. If you're looking for a treat for a loved one, for Christmas, for yourself, because we all deserve to treat ourselves, then do check out Ana Luisa. Like I said, I highly recommend them. And they've very kindly given me a discount code to share with you guys. It is Trina Louise 20 That'll get you 20% off your order. So I'll leave my discount code and my link and all the information you need in my description box in case you want to check out Ana Luisa for yourself. Thank you so, so much again to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video and for your continued support. It is really appreciated. So let's jump on in to today's haul. If you haven't heard of the ASOS sample sale, I wouldn't be surprised because I hadn't until my good friend Becky Reynolds told me about it and I'll leave Becky's channel down below because she also is a YouTuber and she's done videos on the ASOS sale so I'll link that video in particular for you. And basically it's where ASOS sell off a load of items and up till now they've been a fiver each so you can grab some absolute bargains. Now the sale isn't always on, it happens sort of sporadically and you can sign up for notifications so I'll leave that link down below. So there's nothing at the moment, I did just check. But I thought that I'd make this video anyway to show you what I managed to get last time and to give you an idea as to whether it's, you know, at the deal of a century or whether it's a bit of a waste of money and there's a reason these items are so cheap. And if you do like the look of what you see, you can sign up for notifications so you can find out next time because you do have to act quite fast. So I think I got, I got quite a lot. 
I spent like £100 and when everything is a fiver, it goes to show that I managed to spend quite a lot. So let's jump on in. I did pick three pairs of Level Look trousers. So I was obviously on the hunt for that dream pair of Level Look trousers. So I'll start with those because I'm telling you, it's like, it's getting colder, right? Not today. The day that I'm wearing Level Look trousers under my lights, getting warm, the sun's decided to come out and I should not complain because I'm so grateful, but I'm really, really warm. So we'll start with these first. I did just put on this top so that you can sh see sort of how they would look and also so I wasn't just stood here in my bra. So this first pair is in a size 22 and it's actually from Topshop which is I believe Topshop are now owned by ASOS so that would explain why we're finding Topshop here. Can I just tuck this in somewhere? Um, so they are in a 22 and I think they fit wonderfully. They are like they're not thick but they're not super thin like you know really cheap level look leggings can be super super like stretchy and thin and plasticky these feel like a really good quality we do have a seam going down the front and just below the knee in terms of the fit they are quite high waisted like they feel super super comfortable on the waist i feel like they're at the height that i want them to be where i feel secure they're not going to fall down they have a little zip down the side but i didn't need to undo the zip to pop them on the only thing i don't like about them is that the elasticated waistband isn't completely sewn in place. I can imagine, well, no, there is a seam here, so they could have done. So I do find that slipping out a little bit and I can feel the elastic on my skin. Um, so that's just something to bear in mind, but I absolutely love them. They're the perfect length. They are actually <laughs> skin tight on my legs, which is something I really struggle with because my legs are smaller in proportion to the rest of my body so getting anything that is skin tight on my legs is a nightmare so i am obsessed with these i am just i think these are the best fit in level up trousers i've ever had in my life and i love them with just like an oversized black shirt um that's probably what i'd do with these with some little black ankle boots oh i feel so sassy and sexy in that outfit so i love these and Oh my gosh, are these worth a fiver? Hands down, would have paid 20, 30, 35 pounds for these. So I'm over the moon to have got them for a fiver. So we're off to a great start. Let's go and try the other two pairs of like wet look leather look leggings and see if they compare. But even if not, these, these are, these are the ones of my dreams. So I'm so excited. This next pair is also from Topshop and in a 22, but these are more of a, jean not they're not jeans but like they're more of a trouser like they've got a zip and a button um so they're more of a trouser format than a legging um these again fit quite well but not as well as the previous pair so they are a little bit looser on the leg but honestly if i hadn't tried the first pair i'd be telling you these fit me great because still in comparison to what I'm normally experiencing with these kind of trousers, um, this is still good. It's just a little bit looser and that goes with the waist as well. Now they're not too big, but they are a bit looser. There's a little bit, there's hardly any sag at the back, but I can just feel like when I did them up, I had no problem at all. Like they're fitting me on more of a generous size. I don't know if, a, no, I think a 20 would have worked. They would have maybe just been a little bit tight. I'm probably halfway between a 20 and a 22 in these trousers. But again, they feel really nice, really well made. They are thicker and like the previous ones I didn't mention, the inside is more of a soft fabric. So it does mean on hotter days like this, I took them off and my legs were you know they'd been warm so these are not a summer's day trouser these are winter i'm trying to keep myself warm in the cold so i think i'll be saving them for a less a less warm day but again they're great so they've got silver hardware so they do actually button and there's a second button hidden inside there's a zip which you can see and we've got some faux pockets oh no wait no, they are faux, the, but the zip just does work um, here and here. There's no real pockets on them. But again, for a fiver, absolute bargain. I do prefer the fit of the first pair. I prefer the feel of the second pair. But both of them are well and truly worth a fiver. So 
Very excited to have two pairs that fit. Let's try the third. Now we're on to the third and I'm glad to say final pair of wet look leather leggings <laughs> uh, so that I can wear something a little bit cooler because again these have got that more fabric lining that are just containing heat. So these are again in a 22 but these are actually from ASOS directly. Now these are again more of a legging type They're like the first one was but they do have a little zip down the side again and it like the first one is elasticated and the elastic sort of isn't sewn in place so very much similar to the first pair but nothing compared to the first pair like the fabric just doesn't feel as nice the fit isn't nice like look how loose these are and the bottom looks like it needed to be hemmed but it's just been cut so I guess that's the risk you take with the sample sale you don't know the quality of what you're going to get um so these are fine and again had I not tried the first or second pair I would have probably been happy with these but I've seen how good it can be so I definitely definitely prefer the first pair like the fit for me like is just not good on the lower leg um so I'm not in love with these don't hate them for a fiver great deal but in comparison to the first pair you can't beat them so I'm just so excited about the first ones second ones are okay third ones are a bit of a miss but that's all right i've got my dream pairs i'm so happy so now to move on to some dresses and of course i picked a lot of dresses <laughs> i am a dress girl at heart so i went a little bit a little bit mad with the dresses so this is the first one i picked this in a 22 this is a more I wouldn't call it bodycon but it's definitely a lot more fitted and it's a black dress with white flowers now it has got buttons all the way down which would scare me on a more fitted kind of dress but they are sort of fake buttons it is sewn shut so there's no gaping issues i love the length it comes just below the knee and I'm somewhat okay with the fit. I'm moving towards becoming more comfortable with a more fitted dress. Would I prefer it to be a tiny bit looser on the belly? Yes. Would I wear it though? Yes. And I would not have done even a couple of months back. So I'm going to call that progress and I'm very excited because it just opens up some new avenues for me. I'm really, really happy with this dress. We've got some cute little sleeves. I would say the fabric probably isn't the best. Like you can see when I stretch it, the the black kind of disappears so it doesn't feel like the best choice of fabric. But for a fiver, I'm not complaining. I'd have been happy to pay 20. 30, 35 would have been pushing it. I'd have been asking why we've not got a bit of a better fabric, but for a fiver, I am calling this an absolute bargain. So I'm really happy. And this is how it looks from the back. Again, a little bit more fitted than I'm usually comfortable with, but I'm getting there. I'm working on it and I'm, I'm starting to enjoy having more styles to play with. So I really do like this dress. It's an absolute winner for me. And I'm definitely gonna get a good amount of wear. On warmer days like today, I can have my legs out where I could put it with some tights when it gets a bit cooler. I am not opposed to wearing a flowery dress in all seasons. So <laughs> I will definitely get some good wear and I'm really, really happy with this piece. So that's another win. Next up, I picked up this very, very blue blazer to try. Now I'd hate to have to get this in a 20. I would have rather have got it in a 20. 22 but there's only so much stock available and there's limited sizing so you might not be able to find everything on the site in your size especially if you get to it a little bit after it's been refreshed because a lot of sizes might have been sold out so I thought you know what I'd give it a go in a 20 and it is also from the tall range now I want to be a blazer girly I keep buying them and then I never wear them I don't know what it is I just don't so I picked this I don't know if I love the colour. I wouldn't wear it with this dress, I don't think. I'd probably wear it with more of a plain black dress, something like that. Um, this colour's very out there for me. I'll show you the fit. Um, it is a thinner blazer. Um, we do have some very, very thin um, shoulder pads in, in the blazer. Um, but this is how it fits. Now, I'm not expecting it to be perfect because it is a size lower than I am. This is what it looks like. So... The sleeves are a really good length. Do we have pockets? We do. They are sewn up though, so I just need to unpick them. We've got a little fake pocket here. We've got a soft collar. 
these buttons I'm not the biggest fan of. They're like a plasticky tortoiseshell button. I would have maybe liked some like silver metal buttons. That would have been nice. In terms of doing it up, not that I probably would. I think I'd wear it undone. I, oh, just, just about can. So I definitely would have needed the 22, but because I wouldn't want to do it up, the 20 will work and it was all there was. I just don't know. I don't know, guys. I think with a simple black dress, like a plain black dress, it could be a really cute moment. But I don't know what it is about blazers. I just, I don't know. It is longer, but it is from the tall section, so you would expect it to be a little bit longer. What do you think? Do I need to just get on board the blazer trend? How would you style this? What would you do with it? What do you think? I don't know. I do want to play with blazers more, especially now it's getting cooler and colder apart from today, but we've already discussed that. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think. But I think for a fiver, again, an amazing deal. Um, I don't think I don't think I love it, but I could really use your opinion on that because I'm just not sure. It's out of my comfort zone, so I need your help. You can't be up there, I'm trying to film. Come on, down. <laughs> hey, girly girl, you gotta let me film. Hey, what do you think of this dress? What do you think? I think maybe not. Right, come on, let me film. Down you go. Summer, stay. So this is the next dress and I did get this in a 24 and I can't remember if I got it in a 24 because it's more of a straight up and down dress or there just wasn't a 22 available. But I don't love this at all. I just, the fit, the fabric, the feel, the colors, I just, I don't know. It just feels like bedding, like the, the pattern and the colors. It just feels like some bedding. I would love some bedding in this design. That would be great. But as a dress, I'm not loving it. I'm not loving the fit either, um, but that's, you know, it's a 24, I am a 22, but it is really rather loose on the top. Um, yeah, and just, I'm just not feeling it. I think the straps are super cute, like, they're a chunkier, thicker strap. I think that's so nice. Um, but it's fine. The fabric doesn't feel great. It feels more like a linen kind of fabric, but not in a nice way. Do we have a description of the fabric? It is 92% cotton, 8% flax. I don't know what flax is, but it just feels a bit itchy and a bit rough. So I don't love the fabric. I don't love the fit. I don't love the feel. So I'm going to call this our first fail. I'm sure for some people they would love this, but it's just, I'm just not loving anything about it. Apart from the straps. I do like those. Um, <laughs> I'll show you from the back anyway. This is how it's looking. We do have a slit down the side. It does come up relatively high. Um, I do wear my biker shorts if I had skin, um, not biker shorts, chub rub shorts these are from Snag. Um, if I was wearing skin coloured it wouldn't matter so much but I've got black on so it's very obvious as is my bra. Um, so yeah, I think this is a miss for me. Again, probably a good deal for a fiver but nothing is a good deal if it's not something that you like to begin with. So I'm gonna say this one is a miss but at least it was only a fiver. Next up we have this like deep emerald forest green dress in a 24. I'm glad it's in a 24 because it is a much tighter dress so I did need that size. Now I'm not obsessed with this. I don't hate it but I'm not obsessed. Again the fabric doesn't feel very nice at all. It's rough, it's a bit scratchy. Should we see if we have some composition of this fabric? Is that what it's called? Um, composition like the makeup so it's 98% polyester 2% elastane um, so I'm, I just there's no lining in it it doesn't feel very nice so I just don't like it for that um, we do have some more shoulder pads these are a bit thicker um, and we have a really weird waistband that it's kind of like I think I figured it out it's a double tie waistband but you have to like thread it through a hole in the waistband and I don't know if this is going to show but it did look a little bit clunky um, off camera and it took me a while to figure it out. I do like the double double tie waist but I think there needed to be a better way, better way than that like um, to make it a little bit less clunky. I think this is fine. I'm not going to wear it. I can imagine me melting um, and I just feel really like constrained in this as well. Um, not that it's too tight, it's like there's plenty of fabric, in fact it's a bit too big on the top, um, but it's just, it's warm, it's scratchy, it's itchy, I don't love the fit. The colour is super fun, um, but yeah, it's just, it's just not doing it for me. So I'm going to say no to this one, um, but yeah, 
I'm gonna take it off because it's warm. It's warm and it's itchy and I wanna get it off my body. So this next dress I got in a 20. Uh, it's a sort of folded fabric effect, color sakina, I don't know how, like, you know what I mean, you can see. Well, hopefully you can see. <laughs> um, it is a more straight up and down dress. It's a really cute, fun, flowery fabric. Um, but it's got this going on. And I don't know how, with any kind of bra, to make this work. Um, because you're going to see it no matter what. It's, yeah, it's, it's just, it's not going to work for those of us that must wear a bra to, you know, keep things where they're meant to be. Um, so unfortunately it's not going to work. But it's a nice dress. Um, it is quite straight up and down and fitted, but for a 20, this is generous. Like... This is very generous. I wouldn't have been surprised if this was a 24 for the like style of dress it is. Um, it's a really nice length. Um, the sleeves have got elastic on the cuffs and I do like the poofy sleeves. It's just this situation. This, like this isn't gonna work unless you can wear, like go braless and it's quite cut into the boob as well. So I do think you run a few risks with this dress. Um, so sadly it's not going to work, but it is fun, I do like it, I just wish that we didn't have all of this going on. So for that reason it's unfortunately a fail, we're not doing as well with the dresses, hmm, uh, hopefully we've got a couple more dresses so I'm going to move swiftly on and hope that a few of them save us, because at the moment I'm leaning more towards the fail than the win. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this was the next dress, which like I said, unfortunately has to be a no. Next up we have this collusion dress in a 20. Now, I'd be curious to know if collusion is an ASOS owned brand because I think Topshop is. Um, and if collusion is, then it makes sense that we're just seeing ASOS brands. But if not, that's interesting that we're seeing other brands in the ASOS sa um, sample sale. I do suspect it is an ASOS brand, but I'll have to find out. Let me know in the comments if you know. This is very generous for a 20, I would say. Not very generous, but I would have expected this to at least be a 22, maybe even a 24. It's a really fun butterfly print that I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, you'll have to let me know what you think. We do have um, spaghetti straps that you tie yourself, which I'm never a fan of because I just think it's so hard to get them to sit in the right place and be the same length. I would have rather had adjustable spaghetti straps. That would have been better. Um, it fits... A little, it's a bit too big on the chest for me, um, especially for a 20. I would have maybe expected it to be a little bit more fitted on the top. It is a fun length. There's a lot to the dress. Like, it is fun. I think the print is putting me off a little bit, and it's quite a heavy, heavy fabric. So I'm not in love with it. I'm not going to lie. I don't, mm, I don't hate it hate's a strong word but I definitely won't be keeping it um it's just it's just not working for me it's not my style this is the problem when things are so cheap you can be like oh it's not my style but I'll try it I'll just throw it in the basket and you can return things so that is good though I do think it's a 14 day return period so just be aware of that it's not ASOS as usual 28 days I think it is um so I can return things so that's great but you can get a bit click happy well i can i'm like oh it could be gone like i get the fear of missing out because i know that it won't be around forever so i just throw it all in um so we do sometimes end up with things or i do that i probably would never have picked like a butterfly dress um but that's okay it means i get to try a lot more things out for you guys at home so i'm gonna say no the quality's fine it's absolutely fine it's just never gonna have been a dress for me so that's not their fault that's mine um so yeah unfortunately another fail for me but it's not a fail of a dress if that makes sense so <laughs> This next dress is in an 18. Um, we'll start with that bit of information. It is way, 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 way too big for an 18. Like, this is not an 18 by anyone's standards. It's, um, it's pretty awful, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, yeah. It's got these really big poofy sleeves. 
it's you know it, it, it's somewhat cute from the front we've got elastication on the chest it's a really thick like leathery matte leather type fabric but it's thick and it's heavy but guys it's the back for me it's the back now for some people they would love it I'm sure they would I'm sure they would and I don't know if I saw the back when I picked this because if I did see the back I'd like to say I wouldn't have put it in my basket but I wouldn't put it past me because I've made some bad decisions in my time um when I say let me show you the back I mean what back there is no back all we have is a little string holding the top up and then yeah we can see just how much this is too big I am a 22 I'm sometimes a 24 I'm sometimes a 20 but for an 18 to be this big absolutely not um in all seriousness guys for some people they would love this I'm sure that some people are looking for this they're probably looking for it to fit a lot better like this is way 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 like I'd say this is like a, a 26 28 something like that um but but it's cute and if I didn't have to wear a bra and if I didn't have a hang up about this part of my back I would be all right I would be all right if it came to here although there's the bra as well this is just not going to work for me it's going to work for some people I am just not those people um it's not awful other than the fit the fit is the fit is awful it's not great is it guys we can't we're tr I'm trying to skirt around it I just don't like it I want to like it I want to be cool and hip and trendy and I'm definitely not for the fact that I just said I want to be cool and hip and trendy and I'm definitely showing that I turned 30 this year I'm showing my age <laughs> um but, but it's it's just a no it's just a no I feel like I'm wearing a bin bag a really thick loud bin bag a very high quality bin bag if my bin bag split all the time if I could get bin bags this thick I'd be very happy uh going off on a tangent here um but yeah this is it's a it's a bit of a no isn't it guys it's got to be a no let's have a look at this again yeah it's a no it's a no from me thank you very much so this next dress is in a 22 and I feel like the barometer I think it's a barometer you know where it's got a dial and it goes from one to another and this barometer is going from absolute bargain of the century to quite a fail is getting more and more and more towards the quite a fail side of the dial because uh, this is pretty awful and um, it is a wrap dress it is a true wrap dress like you have to tie uh, some little strings inside and then there's a little like button here to attach the front piece to now the piece on the inside is too small like that feels a bit tight and the piece on the outside if I just undo this waist um, tie is way too loose. Hello, Summer. Um, so nothing is working. What do you think, Summer? You just want to play with the ties, don't you? Nothing is working, which is sad because if it did fit, how cute for work. Um, there's not enough of a wrap over, in my opinion. I like the fabric. I like the length. I like the colour. Although I do worry that it washes me out a little bit. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, they, I, ca I can't walk around like this. I, I can't it, we can't be doing this um so unfortunately this one's another fail um and summer's just come in to make a racket playing with a really crinkly toy um so if you can hear that in the background but yeah unfortunately it's another no i've only liked one of the dresses so far i think we've got two more so let's just hope but i'm, I'm not i'm not feeling hopeful i can't lie it's getting worse guys it's getting worse this is um a size 22 sack that's how it feels it feels like not that it's fitting me like a sack I mean the fabric looks like a sack I think it's meant to be a really cute neutral beige stone kind of linen-y type thing but it just it's just not it's not great the fit's not great the fabric's not great it's got this weird little knot tie thing I hate it I hate it this is not going very well um it's super short it's super clingy it's super itchy there's nothing redeeming about it apart from the fact it was a fiver but it was a fiver i would have rather have not spent because i'd rather have a fiver in my life than this so 
I'm just gonna say no and we're gonna move swiftly on. Finally, we have a dress that I, I like. I don't like it on me, but I like it. This is in a 22 and it is gorgeous. I love, 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 love this print and the color and the like really fun cutouts in the arm. This is so fun. The only problem is it's too tight and it's too short for me. So unfortunately I would have needed a bigger size, but I do really, really like this. It is buttoned down. They're not sewn shut, so just be aware of that. And it is rather short. Oh, we have got a button that's come undone here. So I really, really like this one. I just wish it fit me, um, which is a shame. You never know with these things how it's going to go. Sizing is all over the place, as we know well. Um, but I think it's really fun. It's so cute. I think it's great for a fiver. Like, I really, really like this. I love that the sleeves are a bit poofy and then it's got these cutouts. Like, yeah, I love this. I'm so, so, so sad that it doesn't fit me um, better because it's really, really fun. One. I like that we've got like the wavy curvy neckline I just think it's really fun it's giving me like Santorini vibes with the blue not that I've ever been to Santorini so I'm probably way off and if I've offended anyone I'm very sorry um but I think it's like the blue and the white um so yeah I really like this I'm just really sad it doesn't fit me um but it's really really cute and if I could get it again in a bigger size I probably would but unfortunately I can't but yeah I'm gonna call this one a win not a win for me but a win in general I need a bit of positivity after the failures that we've had so yeah it's 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 good it's just not working for me then finally to finish up we have this cute skirt now this is in a 22 and again the fit isn't great now the skirt is cute it's a really fun like green animal print and i am really getting into skirts at the moment um it's got these really cute buttons down they are real buttons but there's quite a bit of fabric underneath so I don't feel like there'd be any gaping, like they thought about that, which I appreciate. And we've got a little bit of a slit at the front. The waistline just isn't the best. Like it feels like it needed some elastic. So you can see it's just a little bit baggy. Um, it's not overly baggy, but it just, I think just even a little bit of elastic at the back would have saved it. And then it's probably a bit, I don't know, is it too clingy on my tummy? I'm not sure. I just don't feel the best in it. We do have pockets, which is great, but there's something that's just not working for me. I don't think it's awful, but I'm just not obsessed. So I think my verdict, as you could probably tell, is that this has been more of a fail. I'm not gonna call it a scam. It's a fiver. They're selling off items really cheap that they, for one reason or another, don't want to sell on the main website. So you know what you're getting yourself in for. I think you can find some gems and the fact that you can send stuff back means that it's pretty risk-free. So it's worth it to get a load of stuff, try it out and find those gems that are going to be an absolute bargain for a fiver. I found maybe two gems in this haul. So, you know, you do have to really search for that needle in a haystack from what we've seen today. I would be tempted to try out more next time, so you'll have to let me know if you want me to do another ASOS sample haul, when, if and when there is another one. I'm sure there will be, it just depends when it's gonna be. So let me know if you wanna see another one of these videos, but the majority of the stuff today, I can see why it's a fiver. I can see why it's not being sold on the main site. So I can understand, um, but yeah, I I think that first pair of le leather look leggings trousers whatever you want to call them make this whole thing worth it because i've been searching for them for years so i'm really excited about that the rest of it yeah, not so much but let me know your thoughts in the comments thank you so much for watching and again thank you so much to anna louisa for sponsoring today's video make sure to check out their link in the description box along with my discount code and i will see you next time bye